Enough of this chit chat, let's get to it then. So you want to get to rank 14, huh? Battlegrounds and Classic are coming out next week, next reset, and you want to get that PvP gear. I know, because I'm doing the same thing. I'm thinking like, oh, I could do it again. I've done this before, I'll do it again. I did it back in vanilla. This is my story of how I got into the, the PvP grind and uh, the trials and tribulations, how it went. So, let's get into it. This is how I became the Dwarf Lord. I was a WoW noob, like everybody else. Everyone in vanilla were pretty bad. And I saw a guild recruiting. I believe the guild was called Kingdom of Landorin, an edgelord guild. They were a PvP guild. I said, sign me up. I PvP'd in Diablo 2. I know what it's all about. When I hit level 10, I signed up for my first battleground on the server of Dragonblight. United States server. There was a lot of alliance, not many horde. Sort of how my classic Heartseeker server is. Got a lot of alliance. And this means long queue times. One hour, two hours, sometimes three hours, depending on the level bracket. So I would sign up, go out into the world, do my questing, and when that BG popped, oh, it was on. First battleground, I didn't know what to do. Probably went into the middle and got killed. It was Warsong Gulch. That's the only uh, battleground available for such low levels. And yeah, I got my ass pushed in by the Twinks. All those rogues with the uh, unholy and, and just doing crazy damage. Warriors, mages, you name it. Even shamans, they all killed me. But I kept signing up. And as I leveled up higher, they didn't one-shot me anymore. It took two, sometimes even three hits. When I first started PvPing, because I'd played Diablo 2, I, I wore a shield. I was probably even prod, because I thought, shields, they're the best. Gotta wear a shield. Get max block, 75% block, Diablo 2. Uh, eventually, I started using the two-hander. And uh, when I hit level 19... And then when I hit level 20, I said goodbye to those twinks and entered the 20 to 29 bracket. And all but damn, there were more twinks in that bracket. Some of the non-twink horde and alliance alike, they followed me and we kind of leveled up together because you would get some experience with every battleground. And uh, we leveled together battling each other. So that was kind of cool. And as we went bracket to bracket, there was a rite of passage of sorts uh, at level 39 and 99%. You'd sign up for your last Warsong Gulch or Arathi, either or. And it was a farewell of sorts. You would ding 40, you'd buy the mount, and you would wait. And when that BG popped, you went in there and everyone else is level 30 to 39 and you're level 40 and you can mount. And you, you can get to, uh, you know, the blacksmith first and get that uh, that early cap or uh, you know get that flag really quick so that was uh, I don't know it's a rite of passage of course you'd be a target that kill the level 40 but uh, people before me did it and then I did it and I'm sure people after me did it too I was about rank 6 a knight uh, when I hit level 59 and 60 maybe a bit higher but it was a long time ago so don't remember I know there was a druid who, uh, at level 59, got to rank 13 from doing Warsong Gulch alone, just running flags, running circles. When I ding level 60 fresh, fighting against pugs in their tier 2, eh, it was an experience. I PvP'd as two-hand fury, by the way. I probably did Mortal Strike for a little bit, but then I heard, I heard whispers about this thing called two-hand fury, and I figured... Well, I'll give that a shot. And I liked it. It was fun. Death Wish, plus a Berserking Hut, plus an Rage. I think even if you have the Silitha Sands thing, you can get like 90% increased damage. And uh, you could do some pretty fun crits with the uh, Unstoppable Force, that mace. 
that everyone had but no one wanted. I wanted Untamed Blade or something, anything better, but I didn't raid at the time. Anyways, I pressed on, grinding hours per day, much of which was waiting for the queue. But that was all about to change, around the rank of 9 or 10, I think it was. Which means you have your full blue set of gear, or close to it, your full set. Uh, I joined a battleground pug for Warsong Gulch, and I was the 10th slot in Warsong Gulch. Along with the Marshalls group pre-made, I was going to win a game, finally! Because most of the games I would just lose, unfortunately, the horde would steamroll us. And when we did, they invited me to join since they could use some more people and I became their flag carrier. If their Thunder Fury wielding warrior named Philly Blizzle wasn't with them. I grabbed that flag with Peleus, the Holy Paladin, and with his blessing of freedom, I just moved through any slows or roots. The horde, they couldn't stop me, and I'd, I'd put my shield on and I'd poke the horde with my lobotomizer, eh, 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 and I'd kill him <laughs> while our two palm pyro mages took out the enemy flag carrier. Another reason they asked me to join is so I wouldn't be a loose cannon. I'll, I'll tell you about a loose cannon we had to deal with shortly and what I mean by that. You see, PvP teams need, need to control who gets how much honor, and sometimes you get a, a problem person who's grinding too much honor. And it could prevent someone from getting Grand Marshal that week because they need to be the top contributor of honor. On Monday they would say, okay Malik, hand in X amount of commendations. So uh, every win you get three tokens or one for a loss for a respective battleground, Warsong Gaul, Charathi Basin, or Alterac Valley. You can hand in three singles or one of each for even more honor. There's this one warrior named OP, O-P-I-E. He thought he was overpowered, I guess. And he was grinding a shit ton of honor. And our leader, Peleus, spoke to them. But I recall myself also whispering them and cussing them out. Hey, motherfuckers, stop grinding so many battlegrounds. I don't know what I said to them, but it was probably rude. What do you expect? I was a 16-year-old kid. <laughs> I mentioned OPI, OP, whatever you want to call him. Because that sort of stuff happened, and because I ran into him the other, uh, the other probably a month ago on retail, I whispered him and asked him, "Hey, is that you, the guy who is? Are you a Dragon Blight? You're grinding too much honor, given, and we had to like tell you to stop." He's like, "Yeah, that was me." We made up, had a good laugh. Grinding PvP can be super high stress. When I hit rank 11 and I got my free epic mount, I say free because it was like 20 gold or something. There's still two more ranks, and I only I only went to rank 13, because, well, the rest of the team quit. They got their ranks. Summer ended. Go back to high school. Time was time was out, so I only went to rank 13. It took about three weeks per rank, six whole weeks, in addition to, uh, you know, all the other PVP from level 10 onwards to get all those ranks. It's like, I PvP hard so hard the whole summer, 14 hours a day, easy, from rank 10 to 11 to 12 to 13. We used this add-on that played loud German metal when a BGQ popped. We would sign, sign up for one last battleground before bed, maybe around midnight, and then we'd go to sleep. It may be around 1.30 a.m. or something. We'd be, we'd be woken up by the Germans. We'd put our headsets on be like, ugh. And we'd play that last game. Then we'd go to bed, wake up, and start peeving again the next day. Every day. It could be high stress. One time, I was with our Palm Pyro Mage heroine. Not the drug, but more like, you know, a female hero. A heroine. Heroin, whatever. <laughs> and we're, at the we're at the stables retaking it. There were three horde. We killed two, and then we wanted to. Uh, he wanted to sheep the last one and take the stables, and he was correct. That's the play. But I was on the other guy. I figured I, I just kill him quick. He freaked out. 
I have never heard someone yell across TeamSpeak like that. This guy was louder than the Stop Dots guy from the Onyxia kill. Or at least they were equal. He yelled, Malak, stop hitting him. Top of his lungs. After that game, he logged off. Came back a couple hours later to apologize. I didn't mind, I'm pretty easy going. This grind can make you go crazy. We called Tuesday Judgment Day. Would you make your rank? You'd log in after the maintenance. You'd open up that honor panel. Were you the next rank? <laughs> Do you get new gear or not? I remember a couple times my honor contribution took me to like 95% honor. Filling the bar. Just, just almost, but nope. You need another whole week grinding just as hard. You can't, you can't just grind 5% of what you did last week or you're not gonna, you'll probably lose the honor. You'll go backwards. So you have to grind just as hard. <laughs> but when I got that, that gear, oh boy, did it feel good. And it was shiny. I had the rank 13 armor, the rep bracers, the, the ring from Alterac Valley, uh, the weapon, the mace and shield and dagger. I think I had the dark moon fair neck because I had nothing better. I had never stepped into hardly any dungeon, but that was about to change. I was done with PvP. I was broken, soul sucked right out, ready for a new challenge. Raiding. Well, that pretty much concludes my story. Peleus got rank 14. A bunch of the other people, we all got rank 13. And gosh, I think Heroin, I think he got rank 14 for a second time in a row because he didn't buy the staff. He wanted the staff. So he grinded rank 14 again. Biggest piece of advice, if you get rank 14, you make sure you have the gold to buy every piece you could possibly want because yeah, you don't want to do that again. Anyway, if you like the story and you want me to tell you more stories, I can tell you my story of a very geared warrior not knowing shit about raiding. That'll be the next story. Thanks to the Marshalls team for taking me on that journey and the countless people I PvP'd against. I forget most of you, but the memories are still there. So, will we see if I uh, make a comeback into PvP or not? I don't know. I hardly touched PvP in Burning Crusade. I did some achievements in Wrath. No real PvP in Kata or Wad. I was burned out. Like I said, it was soul-sucking. Did quite a bit of world PvP in Legion, though, and that was fun. So, maybe when time allows, pretty busy in real life right now, maybe I'll PvP more in Classic. We will see. The story isn't meant to dissuade you from PvP or doing the grind. Just know what you're up against. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears. But a hot, heck of a lot of fun times, memories, and stories. So if you liked it, give a thumbs up, comment. Uh, I've got tons of other stories I can tell. So for now, see you later. See ya.